We're learning that Rex Hewerman may have called a documentary filmmaker seven years ago in a sick effort at pinning the crime spree on somebody else. Producer Josh Zeman was making a documentary about the Gilgo Beach murders. He says his office received a phone message from someone claiming to know who the killer is. Interesting. We should call him. Call him? He now thinks the caller may have been Rex Hewerman himself, trying to point the finger at an innocent man who had committed suicide. Hey, how you doing? We're the uh, filmmakers who are doing the uh, Long Island serial killer documentary. Yeah, I had heard that the gentleman that owned Atlantis Marine in Riverhead, he was a suspect, and that's when he killed himself. And how did you hear that? Uh, I worked with the police department, and I had heard that that's who the DA's office was questioning and everything else, and, you know, the number one suspect. It was shady and weird enough that we put it in the series. Is it Hewerman's voice? This is Hewerman in an interview for a YouTube channel. I'm an architectural consultant. I'm a troubleshooter. Born and raised on Long Island. Here's that mysterious phone call again. I worked with the police department, and I had heard that that's who the DA's office was questioning and everything audio expert Anthony Nelson analyzed the recordings for Inside Edition. Was it him who made that phone call? In my opinion, it sounds exactly like him. Rex Hewerman denies being the Gilgo Beach serial killer.